Have you ever watched one of your favourite YouTube creators use a VR? I wish you could too, but then see how expensive they are. Well, I have a solution for you. Follow this tutorial and you'll end up with a mostly free VR for Steam VR. The reason I say mostly free is because it will be easier if you have a Google Cardboard or something similar from sites such as Wish or AliExpress. What you will need is a phone and some optional things that will make your gaming easier such as an Xbox controller or even a Wii Remote and Nunchuck Spear. Also Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons work well for Beat Saber. To start in the description there will be a link to RiftCat. Click it and you'll be prompted to the link. Once on the website, click download. After two seconds or more, Riftcat install.exe will install. Please wait for it to install, as it may take a long time. Once installed, click launch. Then follow the on-screen instructions. Once properly installed, launch it. You'll be greeted to the screen. Don't be alarmed, it is normal. That is done for now on the desktop. Let's get on to the phone. Once on your phone, open your Google Play Store or the App Store. Either will work. Then search for VRidge and you'll find it. If it is available in your country, download the app and then you're completely done on your phone. Now, launch a desktop RiftCat app and then the mobile app and you'll be prompted to connect your phone. When, when selected, press yes. Now look on your phone and you'll be completed and you'll be loaded into Steam VR. but how do I control? When you launch RiftCat, press configuration and then select your desired controller. If you want to use Joy-Cons or Wii Remotes, you are going to need to install an app called Driver for VR on your desktop. It is semi-free to enable your controllers to sync up via Bluetooth. Then click Tracker Manager Click Manage Remote and enable your choice of remotes. That's all for now. To see more tutorials, subscribe and like. Thank you.